Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Monday morning. We are I'm happy heart. I'm standing on a hill, so I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> We're Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Three homers of stuff. It feels like it's the evening time because the locusts are out yeah. here singing. You hear them? Is that what you call that, singing? They, I don't know what that is. They're making noise. They're making noise, yeah. Hey, uh, this morning we have some things to ship out from the weekend yeah. as normal. Uh, we're going to show you. we got, I think, 22 or 23 items. Maybe 24. I don't know. Bunch. But, we got a bunch. Yeah. But we have just a couple other things to tell you about. And we want to tell you about our experiences this weekend yeah. uh, can you find deals if you go garage sailing late in the weekend and That's... if you can what do you find <laughs> yeah we did go out we did find some stuff and we'll mm -hmm. kind of tell you about that so you ready I'm ready all right let's go let's go we are Thursday garage sailors here in Lincoln through and through Thursdays Thursdays yeah. in like I know some places um, they don't start until Fridays normally and stuff. You know, people have different things in their areas. Here, it's usually Thursdays. Normal so practices, we, maybe. <laughs> we are big on Thursday garage yes. sales. We will go out on Fridays, especially if there's like neighborhood sales that don't start until Friday. But we always kind of want to get out and get try yeah, to get the Thursday good pickings right away. So by Saturday, we're usually done garage selling and we just work. Well. The weekend came and we knew we didn't have anything going on. We were just going to be here and working and listing and that's great. But we woke up Saturday morning and I was like, you know what? Let's set very low expectations <laughs> knowing we probably won't find anything because everything's picked through. And let's just go to some garage sales and kind of enjoy our morning and just leisurely, you yeah. know, don't, don't go out on a big hunt. So we headed out. Uh, we did put in addresses and we picked some that were like not in really busy areas not neighborhood sales yeah not neighborhood sales uh first on the west side of town and so we hit a few sales and that's where we found most of our stuff yes. so all right first up at one of the first sales we went to there was this baby yoda blanket we just thought it was cute it was only a dollar yes and that either dollar auction or the booth i assume right we have had some good luck at the booth yeah, since we updated our booth, it's it's just crazy. Every single day we're selling stuff and it's can be twenty, thirty, fifty, sixty dollars yeah. a day. It's crazy going well. The kids well. are back. The yeah, kids, kids are, back. are in the middle of coming back now. Yeah, and so we've got this. There's a husker. Uh I don't know what the brand is, but a husker pullover. We sold in the booth uh leather. Husker vintage leather coat. Yeah, it was a little roughed up, but sold it for fifty dollars. Yeah, and we sold another winter coat, and we sold two pullovers. Yeah, we've we've sold several things. I mean, every single day we're selling three to six things a day, basically. And this was Donna's find. <laughs> yeah, because he's laughing about it. But it's, don't it's you funny. think that? You never know what a the college kids Cheetos. are going to be looking for. It's not a blanket, it's a Snuggie, guys. There's arms in it. There's arms in it. It's got some dog hair on. It needs to be washed. But but you just never know what those well, college that. kids are going to need. The, see the arms? And it's got the flame and Cheeto on the end. Here. And then we got every college kid needs a Husker shower curtain. Brand new Husker shower curtain. March 4, I paid 3 Cool. So that'll be good for the booth. Then we found a little Yoda. Grogu. Rogu, Grogu, sorry. <laughs> Grogu for the booth for a dollar. We assume he's the booth. We'll check eBay though. Found that for 25 cents. I love the cup sets. Yeah, Donna sells a lot of cups and dishes. Cups um, and saucers. Got this for a certain someone. BU. Who is looking for things for her desk. Uh, our teacher, Jada. The Ray Dunn brand new welcome towels, and then I got some jewelry for fifty cents a piece. This is a jade roller I got for two dollars, um, but it's got the stone and the roller. Never heard of it. What do you roll with it? Your face. Your face? For real? Okay. Yeah. And then this is a uh, fifty cent necklace. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. The garage sale that you found this stuff, it was... She was a teacher. They weren't super cheap, so when you told me you got the jewelry 50 cents, I was kind of surprised at that. Yeah. And obviously they're not like gold, but 50 cents is pretty awesome. Whoopsies. And this Whoopsies. set was 50 cents. Nice. This teacher pen was 50 oh, cents. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
This was a quarter. I have some owl lovers on our dollar auction. Nice. This was a quarter because my teacher kiddo. This was a dollar. It's Ray Dunn. It's a pencil holder. Cool. This was three. This is new. Starbucks. Like a ceramic? Yeah. It's heavy. It looks heavy, right? Yeah, it's ceramic. Never been used, she said, for three dollars. Look at our big shoes. We bought six hundred dollar, five hundred dollar shoes, y'all. Prada <laughs> shoes paid eight dollars for them, and we took a chance on them, expecting they weren't real. And they're not. And it turns out the first thing we looked up, Donna looked up how to tell the buckle. And the very first thing said that this buckle would have like rivets on the corners, and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So the very first thing said, but "Nope, we're not they're real." They're cutie. So. so we think that we'll still make money on it, but it was just worth the shot. We thought, "What the heck?" Yep. And then we found some hats for only, I think, a dollar piece. A dollar piece. Right? Yep. Ping hat, and then a Husker hat, and then an Oregon Nike hat. So those are fun. Yep. Next up, <clears throat> I got two more little willow trees. Yep. $2 a piece. They'll go in the booth for 8 and 12 And then I got these. I don't know anything about them for a dollar. But they're clip clip-on birds you clip them on the tree I suppose I just thought they were unique yep. and this little red one so I'll have to search that they're these these you get the red those? and the blue a dollar for the bag oh nice we got two more lovies little yep. elephants they sell pretty consistently yep and a little horsey Cool. Got a uh, chunky yarn because why not? Of course. You just heard the trash truck go by. I was going to shout out the trash truck because our trash guys are great, but it was a different company, not our company. So they're not getting a trash shout out today. <laughs> our trash guys are awesome. They come tomorrow. Amish Friends cookbook for a dollar. So we're going to try that for a right. um, dollar, or I mean eBay. Got a pair of shoes. I'm going to try these for myself, and if they don't work for myself, I'll give my kid a chance, and then dollar. Were there a brand on them? Or they no, just... they're just, well, that's the brand. Me, Megna? Meg, Magin? Magin? I have no, I don't know. Whatever that says. They're super soft, though. Super soft, that's what that says. It's it's yeah. Chinese for super soft. Exit game? Uh, that's probably personal use there, honestly. We love that with our friends. Yeah, paid five bucks for that. Got this for five bucks. Yeah, Disney. Disney, Mickey. yeah. Looks kind of like the Stanley style. What's the brand on it? There was something right here. Trek Tumbler. SM, I don't know what that is. But it's a Trek Tumbler. Okay. So thought that was worth a shot. And then we Along also with, got. There's a Yeti. Teal with this. Yeti. This kind of lid. Yep. And got this for five dollars. Yep. Like that color. And then since we were on the cup theme we also got a hydro from the same with the with the shoulder strap type thing from the same hydro jug yeah for five bucks so the, i know this stuff ain't cheap it says 750 but we got all these for five yep. piece bundled it well yeah it was saturday almost noon and they'd been open for a couple days so mm -hmm. they were ready to make some deals i got this for myself so i'm getting a new purse yo for a dollar all righty <laughs> <laughs> Another willow tree. Yep. Got that for a dollar. Pair of socks. Think positive thoughts. Brand new for a dollar. Juicy Couture. Um, we bundled a bunch of stuff up and paid eight dollars at this sale, and this was included in the stuff. Juicy Couture. We don't know nothing about Juicy Couture, but we see people on YouTube talk about it, so we just grabbed it. Yeah. And check this out. This was part of the eight dollar bundle too. <clears throat> All right, there's some Crocs with some daisies. daisies. Are they your size? They say Crocs are the most comfortable things. You guys, I got new daisy shoes. <laughs> are they? <laughs> That's awesome. Are they comfortable? Yeah, they're they? squishy. Neither one of us, neither one of us have ever tried Crocs. First of all, I wear like size 14, 15, so I don't know if they have enough rubber on them for Those are that cool. big of shoes, but we've never tried the Crocs. So I like them. Maybe Donna will keep some Crocs. Um, we got this at the same sale for a dollar. Well, with the with the lot, Which we grouped together. Mini like Mouse. Mini Mouse. 
pajama. Pajama set, okay. No. What's this? I have no idea. I didn't know. Oh, it, it was a Raiders football. That was part of that eight dollar buy. Just oh. bought for the booth. Oh. And the Raiders are a sad, sad team, but you know, people you, still like them for some reason. You and then these things these? are part of the eight dollar buy too. This is a little keychain, a little Jordan keychain. I just thought that was cute. And this is a watch, probably not worth anything, but I don't know. It's just pulsar. It's nice and heavy. You know, usually if you grab a watch this size and you pick it up and it doesn't weigh anything, then uh, you generally know it's junk. But so I thought I'd just grab that as part of the bundle. These two weren't part of that bundle too. Okay, a couple bracelets there. Yep. All right, then this little guy, a little shopping cart. Ah. Donna saw that and thought that was cute, so she grabbed it for what? I don't know. Quarter, fifty cents. Oh, 50, fifty cents. cents. Uh, there's a couple more things yet from Saturday. We bought a lot more than I thought we did. Um, for these, these are called, what was it, Popple? No, my Popple. Popple oh, no, no, was the Popple. white thing that I sold. These are monsters. These are called, there's a story with these. These are called Poppy, P-O-P-P-Y. And these are actually, these will get you a Vero on eBay. I've had it happen twice. Rawr. Once, I had it taken down once, uh, like three years ago we found one. And then I got another one about six months ago, and I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. And I put it on, and it got taken down too. So we're going to put them in the booth. We paid like a dollar a piece for them. But if you find those, they're worth money. They're worth decent money, but you can't put them on eBay. Nope. And then those, we were thinking they were the same thing, and they're not. Uh, we just saw them in another sale, and we are like, oh, look, there's they're some more. They're Domo. Domo. So we just picked those up. We didn't pay much for them. 50 cents or a dollar. The last thing on Saturday we got is this was just kind of a shot in the dark and it's already sold yeah this is already sold this is a box the local there's a local minor league hockey team here called the lincoln stars called the lincoln stars and here's a bunch of plaques let me get this box yeah. there's called the lincoln this is lincoln stars and these are a bunch of plaques there's 11 total and they are from they were boosters got these over the years so like this one here some have pucks yeah yeah zach Pittman. this is from 2013 2014 2011 2012 they're signed some of 13 them signed. 14 there's some there like 2006 yeah that one signed so i put two of these on the dollar auction they sold for a total of i think ten dollars and so then i offered the guy i took him sent him pictures of the rest and he offered fifty dollars for the whole box I paid ten dollars for it, so that was a good flip. Yeah. The lady said that sold it to us for ten bucks. Said she just they've been in the closet for years and years, and they wanted to go to a home. And I said, well, we can find them a home. So <laughs> paid ten bucks, and then the guy's coming to pick them up for fifty dollars this afternoon. That's our rehomers of stuff thing coming in there. Okay, and then on Sunday morning we were out going to church. We were running late. Well, we weren't running late yet, but then we went through the line at Dunkin' Donuts. That was a mistake, it didn't go well. We ended up being in line a long time. And then right by there, there was an accident and traffic was all backed up. And then while we were waiting in that traffic, my intention was to go to church and then get gas. My gas light came on and we were still a ways from church. So I said, crap, I need to probably stop and get gas. And so, we did that and it, basically we were well into service before we were even we could even like try to get there so we ended up we thought well it was a effort i don't know if it was a good effort but it was an effort so we didn't make it to church so on the way home we came back across the town and there was actually a couple of sunday garage sales i really didn't want to go because it's sunday who's gonna have anything on sunday but we went and we found a few things so just a few things from those two sales we'll show you those now all right, so this is from Sunday morning. Two sales we went to. Magnolia mug. 25 cents. 25 cents. And that one says a bad word on it. It says a bad word. 25 cents. <laughs> and cats. Home is where my cat is. People like cats. I don't know why, but people do. Oh, it's pot belly by design. Okay. And then they had shirts for five for a dollar. Not today. A relatable. So this is for the booth. Yeah. 20 cents a piece on these shirts. Billabong, Energy, Love, Light, Wisdom. Okay, 20 cents. And then this is a Transformers. Look at this, it's like a pajama top. It looks like, like a kid's pajama top. It's screen printed, it's not old or anything, just made to look old. 
Uh, what's this? We got Discretion Brewing. It's a Santa brewing. Santa Cruz. Okay. Brewing tea. Okay. That's for the booth because, you know, college kids. Yeah. And then a Nebraska tea. So 20 cents a piece. They'll go in the booth probably for like eight bucks a piece. Uh, we did find this Kavu bag or whatever. How are you pronouncing it? Kavu. It's clean. It's very, very clean. We did pay five bucks. We paid up for it. But considering how wow. clean it was, I just thought that'd probably be a good pickup there. From that same one. And they were also gamers. Not in the oh, normal oh, rolling, sense rolling, rolling. of the word, but they had some cool games. Photosynthesis. Yeah. Where you design, you know, a tree. Design a tree. All right. Yeah. But they were cheap. Like he was selling five these bucks for... for this game. This trekking the national parks. Dakin wanted me to show him this. Yep. Because I told him about it. It was a dollar, and it apparently is a game parks, about going the to the different national parks. It yeah. looks like the train game. Kind of. Like. I got ride the ticket to ride. That's what it's called. Uh, two of these because I have two grand kittens. Oh. <laughs> So, Wacky Willy Flopping Fish Toy. All yeah. right. 25 cents for a Tupperware. Okay. And that was that sale. And then at the next one, we got these for the booth. Yep. But beer tap handles. They wanted $5 a piece. They had a bunch. Donna asked if they'd do three for 10. So we paid $3.33 for two of them and $3.34 for one of them. Yeah. If you want and to be technical. I got this one. Uh, yeah. Skull Planter. So that's probably for the booth, right? yes yeah did we get anything else there that was it we got from there but they did have a very very cool it was a budweiser actual guitar also like with a neon bar lights. lamp neon lights around it and everything it said budweiser it was very very cool and so he had to go ask his mom how much that was and he went to ask her and i told don i said i bet you it's four or five hundred dollars you know thinking <laughs> it's a garage sale and you know whatever four or five hundred will probably be a good deal on it and she came out and she said it was eighteen hundred dollars yeah so holy cow all, <laughs> so anyway uh we passed on that all right, that's all our garage sale finds. And so, yes, you can still find deals. We didn't fill the van or anything like that, but we did find deals on a Saturday and a Sunday even. Uh, we're going to go do I the... Got what some daisy shoes. Yes. We're going to go do the uh, what solds. We're going to pull orders and show you that. The first order, I'm going to tell you about, but I'm going to explain why we don't do free shipping. <laughs> or free, not free shipping. Free returns. free returns. We do returns. We have returns on. People can return things, um, but we don't do free returns and the reason why is this is the perfect example we sold this little green fenton turtle who's really really cool it's got a sticker on the bottom it's fenton and we sold that for 29 dollars. super cute and they got it and a week later she messaged and she says she filed a return for it because i just don't like it and that's fine we don't care so they ship it back to it's us okay, well if turtle, we had free I returns like <laughs> then it costs you know six something to ship that so we would have had to pay the shipping there six something the shipping back six something so 13 dollars, and then we would relist it but since we don't do free returns they could return it but i did not have to refund the shipping there and then ebay will deduct the shipping uh to us off of what they re refund them so they get 29 dollars back but they'll take off six something for the for that so we don't take that hit so after that happened shane from soda city flips he's got a youtube channel you can check him out here's his what his Hi thing shane. looks here's his <laughs> here's his link he reached out and he was like hey i we like we got turtles here i would like that turtle would you sell it to me so that is actually going out to shane so shane is buying that thank you very much shane and hopefully we'll see you on your monday night live all right before we get into the what souls wanted to mention something august 30th in less than two weeks friday pizza ranch lincoln nebraska 6 30 p.m we will have grams and pops vintage we will have alicia the inked picker we will have randy and gracie we will have LaDonna Bell Vint I can never get that right. Bayou Bell Vintiques. Yes. <laughs> she will be there. There will be some other local people there. Maybe We're gonna Sloan. Sloan, bring your mom. There you go. We're going to have pizza. We're just going to hang out after being garage selling all day and <gasps> just visit and hang out. We should bring your mom so everyone can meet the moms. Oh, we My could, mom. Yeah, mom. we could bring the moms. But we're going to be out garage selling all day. They could meet us here. They could. Anyway, anyway, we'll be there for sure. And if you just want to come eat, eat some pizza ranch, um, we have the back room reserved for a couple hours. So 6.30 p.m. Yep. Friday, August 30th. See you there, hopefully. Okay.
All right, now we're gonna get into the what solds and let's uh, try to go through this in an efficient and timely manner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try. All right, these two bowls sold for a total of $21.25 right there, and they're going to Montana. Cool. All right, we have a pair of Birkenstocks shoes, oh. black ones. They weren't listed very long. Yeah, these sold in just a couple days. We listed these. There's some rubber black uh, Birkenstock slip-ons. They sold for $20, and they're going to California right there. Nice. We have one cassette. It is right here. DRI Thrash Zone. That is some thrash from the 80s right there. Sold for $10. I got it for a dollar garage sale. That sold for $10 and is going to Tennessee right there. All right, Donna Box G, we have something. And this something is headed to Wyoming. And it is a light green Chinese Foo Log Dying Incense Burner. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, there it is. A little thing right there. That sold for $18 right there. Pretty cool little piece. Box 89. There's a Yadro piece. Probably the last one we have right there. So that is a nativity right there. Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus. And that sold for $55, and that's going to Washington. There's an overwhelming theme for a while, and there's a lot of breakables that we sold. And so another breakable that we sold is in box 91. In box 91, you're going to look for a butter dish. The Pioneer Woman butter dish. It's beautiful. the dish. Yeah, it's a very cool butter dish. Uh, Donna paid $2 for that at a garage sale, and it did sell for $12.23. And that is going to Florida. Oh. Okay, the next breakable thing that sold is in, is in box 79. Sorry. We have a couple of very, very cheap items that sold too, and a few of them kind of in a row here because they've been listed so, so long. This is a Snoopy glass right there, Snoopy, and that sold for $5, and that's going to Puerto Rico. Okay, the next thing that's breakable is in box A. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a lot of breakables. All right, this is an old smoking pipe shaped uh, something or other. Ashtray. Is that what it is? An, an ashtray. ashtray. That sold for $6 right there. And that is going to Missouri. Let's do some more breakables. <laughs> How about box R10? Let's do that. In box R10, you're looking for three green herringbone glass plates i don't know what herringbone means so i don't know if that actually helped you all right we'll get these out and show you these these oh those are cool these came from the apartment that uh, got walked away from or whatever we got to go through and these sold for 30 dollars and they are going to california and i just see there's a note that is asked it, if they had any other does pattern this go with this no they do not go together they match. Um, but we don't have anything else that pattern, I believe. Stay in there and get box 84, Donna. Let's get some more breakables. <laughs> Come on. Challenge me today. <laughs> You're good at breakables. All right, in here we're looking for four pasta salad lot bowls, eight inch soup bowls. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I didn't read that in order. Let's get those out. This came from a big old set. Donna bought a whole box of this stuff. A whole bunch of them for three bucks for the whole box, I think. It was a whole paper box yeah. full. And these bowls right here sold for $30, and they're going to Missouri. Two Missouris, two Californias, a Puerto Rico. Actually, let's get some more of that same pattern from box 84. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that we were doing the same box <laughs> again. Uh, this is the, uh, let's see. These are teacups and saucers. Making some room. Yeah. Okay, there's a set of three, is that right? No, four. A set of four of these teacups and four. saucers. Yeah. Same pattern. These are going to Oklahoma and they sold for $18.99 plus shipping. Since we got this going, I'm going to jump up and let's. There's one more breakable thing. We might as well grab it too. Box 106. <laughs> 
All right, this came from a buyout where we got the Audro and we got some Cutco knives and stuff. But this is a head vase, lady head vase. There she is. This is going international shipping. This little girl sold for $59.99 and she is going all the way to Australia. Oh, I thought you were going to say Alaska. No, international. Oh. Australia. She's on a journey. She's all dressed up for her trip and but ready she to has go. Her earrings and everything. Yes. All right, before we get to the non breakable portion of this show, I want to share this. This is really cute and it's a fun story. So a couple weeks ago or so you saw we sold this Mycene Kenzie doll and she was sold nude and it went to the buyer and the buyer's happy with it and the buyer left feedback and I have to share the feedback with you. The feedback says, thanks so much. I got her cleaned up and have her outfit. Now she looks great. And she put this picture in, which is just super cute. Like the doll just got out of the shower. So we wanted to share that because that's fun. Right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Next thing, I did something. I've, I've been on eBay since 2001, so 23 years. I've never, ever, ever, ever done this and taken such a huge risk before. But I had a penny. It's a, I'll put a picture of it. You can't see it in here near as good. That's a 1908 Indian head scent, and it's really, really in good condition. I did something. I put it online for one penny, one week auction for one penny with free shipping. So I was risking losing the price of a stamp. If it sold for less than that, I would have put it with a stamp. Uh, and so it ran for a week and it sold for $18.05 free shipping. So this little penny is going out to Florida. All right, in the DVD drawer, this is another thing that's been on for a long, long time. This AD police, it's kind of like a, it must be kind of like a anime cartoon, something like that. That sold for $6.50 and it's headed out to New York. And then we sold two uh, Sassafras switch mats. I'm going to go grab those. Uh, we're almost done with these. Donna got a whole bunch of these from friends and I don't particularly like them. They're kind of just big to ship and for what they're actually worth. Oh, this but is they're a, cute. This is not the first one. This is the second one. This sold for $6.79. It's a welcome mat with a cardinal. It fits inside those mats. Right there. Yeah, the big rubber mat, and then you can interchange the middle of it. And this is going to New York for $6.79. And then we also sold Welcome to My Porch right here. This somebody sent an offer for six dollars and it's going to Alabama, so that sold for six dollars plus shipping. Uh, yeah, just I'm ready for these to be gone. We got there's only two one left, left, two left, two? two more. Welcome to my porches. Last week, I took all the things that were under five dollars off because I don't want somebody sending an offer on a four dollar item for 350 because they will. Uh, just like these, these are 679 because they're old and they're on sale. Um, so getting an offer for six dollars, I'm like. Whatever. But I mean, it's great. Sales it's gone. A sale. Sales a sale. But I'd like to raise my. I'd love to do nothing under. Here's my requirement. I would love to do nothing under ten dollars unless it's super easy and then just throw it in a poly bag or something like that. Uh, cassettes, a uh, piece of clothes for seven, eight bucks is fine. But you know, something like this, I got to make sure I have a roll it up and have it in a box big enough for it. So Hold on. I just don't love it. All right, that's enough of me being negative and complaining. But I have to be the great papooer. So, a couple more things that I what? sold, and then we'll go to some things that Donna sold. All right, this I listed in one day, and sold in one day. It's a Case Logic. This is a cassette holder. It holds 30 cassettes. Uh, and this, I've listed for $24.99. Somebody sent an offer for $20. I came back at $22.50, and then somebody else bought it for $24.99. <laughs> Full price, and that is going to Minnesota right there. If you watch all our videos, you saw last week at Garage Sales. I think it was the last video we showed. Mm -hmm. uh, I got some toys, and one of them is a Star Wars Y-Wing right here, right there. And that sucker right there sold for $23.99, and that's going international again. And this time it's going to Australia, another Australia buy, the same weekend, different person. So that's fun. You paid a dollar for that. Yes, paid a dollar for that. All right, and then I'm gonna just pop a picture up of this because it's upstairs in the office from the book lot when we got all those books and DVDs. Uh, this Danger Girl Revolver book is sold for $13 plus shipping, and it is going to Las Vegas, Nevada. 
And then I'm gonna grab one more thing that's in the clothing area. In here we have a vintage. It's not insulated or anything. This came from Iowa. It's a vintage Carhartt canvas jacket right there. And right there's the Carhartt. And it's not insulated or anything. It's just like a light jacket. And that sold for $88 and going to Texas. Wow. We just got a few more things. I'm gonna have Donna grab them because she will enjoy these more. And let's start with box 60. All right, in box 60, this is from the Firebind. It's itty bitty bitty. It's Lamax Photos with Santa. Oh. They're all like loose and individually wrapped. So we're just gonna pop a picture up. Here's a picture of what they look like. And they're little bitty and they sold for $18.99 and they are going to Ohio. Just two more things, Donna. And the first one is in box 105. And there's our protect dog. After getting a bunch of crappy offers and Donna not taking them, they sold for full price. It is Bath and Body Works. It's laying down there on the side in the corner, right down, down. There you go, I think. All right, that is Magic in the Air Ultra Shea 24 Hour Moisture Body Cream. That sold for $24.99 and it is going to New York. I thought I was going to say Alaska. Dead. I thought you were <laughs> going to say Alaska. All right, there's one more thing. This is a long video. One more thing. I saved it for last on purpose. Do you remember what it is, Donna? Because it's cute. No. All right, it's in box R13. You'll know what it is when you see it, though. This. No. <laughs> I don't know. A bubble. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, Donna just listed this recently. It's a popple. We got him for 50 cents. 50 cents. And he is going to Ohio and they bought him for $40 plus shipping. So that's it. They thought that was a fun one to end on. He's cute. All right, that's it. That's all we got. I know it was a long video. I'm sorry about that. We had lots of stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff. We picked up lots, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to say. I forgot something. how much we picked up. So that's kind of like when we got into it, I'm like, oh my, there's a lot here. <laughs> So, so anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. We super appreciate it. I think that's about all we got. Hell, I miss tall as you. But we got to ship all this stuff, and we got some other things you to do, gotta too. You got to ship it. Yes, I got to ship all these breakables that she sold. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. <laughs> We're happy our treasures. We'll see you next time. Bye.